Ready for kid news? So are we. But first, a word from today's awesome sponsor. Is your business or organization, like Kid News, all about kids? Now there's a new perfect domain to match your perfect audience. Enter .kids, not .com or .org, but .kids. It's a dedicated online space of higher trust and protection for the next generation. The .kids domain lets everyone know that you care enough to choose a safer, more trustworthy, and positive online experience. Think DebateClub.kids or TeenTennis.kids. Even Starglow is in on the action with Podcast.kids. See your ideas come to life on a .kids domain. Visit Hello.kids slash KidNews today for specially priced .kids domains. That's Hello.kids slash KidNews. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, December 6, 2023. And we begin with Times Person of the Year. Sometime this morning, maybe already, the magazine will make good on a tradition that dates back nearly a century and honor the person or group that it feels had the most influence, good or bad, on the world in the past year. The very eclectic 2023 shortlist was announced earlier this week and includes Chinese President Xi Jinping, artificial intelligence guru Sam Altman, Hollywood strikers, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Barbie, former President Trump's prosecutors, King Charles III, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, and Taylor Swift, who already won the award once back in 2017. Whether she wins again or not, Taylor Swift and her fellow music queen, Beyonce, are getting kudos for keeping a life-saving beat. According to the American Heart Association, Tay's You're Losing Me and Bay's Virgo's Groove both have the right tempo for hands-only cardiopulmonary resuscitation, commonly known as CPR. Both songs have between 100 and 120 beats per minute, the speed at which chest compressions should be performed, which means singing those tunes can help would-be rescuers find the right rhythm to restart a heart. If neither of those tracks tickle your fancy, not to worry. The AHA has an entire playlist to help save a life, starting with, fittingly, the Bee Gees hit Stayin' Alive. We put a link to the list on our resource page. Making a different kind of list, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, which was recorded by a 13-year-old back in 1958 and just reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart for the first time since its release. You've all heard it and probably sung it. And now Brenda Lee's classic has knocked Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas out of the top spot. The song's climb breaks a lot of records. According to CBS News, it's now the single with the longest run to number one, 65 years. And Brenda, now 78, is the oldest artist ever to top the chart. The prior record was 62-year-old Louis Armstrong with Hello, Dolly! in 1964. Need to get your older brother or sister home from college for the holidays? Amazon might have the answer. Starting yesterday and running through tomorrow, the site is offering Prime student members select U.S. flights for just $25. 1,000 were made available yesterday and another 1,000 at 3 a.m. Eastern this morning. And the final batch will be released at 3 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Once those 3,000 tickets are gone, students can still get $25 lopped off the price of a flight and a discount on any ticket that costs more than $500. We put a link on our resource page. For those still trying to figure out when to travel, NerdWallet says the busiest days this month will be December 22nd and 26th. In other Kid News notes, a trail of sunken treasure that stretches for three miles in the waters off the Bahamas just east of Florida. According to Newsweek, experts thought the 17th century Spanish galleon Maravillas had been picked clean in the years since it went down in 1656, but new mapping shows there are still thousands of priceless artifacts on the ocean floor, including emeralds, amethysts, and silver. The Maravillas was among the richest treasure ships ever lost at sea. An estimated $100 million worth of valuables still sits on the ocean floor.
And a little bit of a reality check for NASA. A new report from the U.S. Government Accountability Office says the space agency probably won't have astronaut boots on the moon in 2025 as planned. Topping a list of issues, postponed test flights, challenges with the development of a landing system, and problems creating spacesuits with enough life-saving protection for the astronauts. The report says 2027 is more likely. Still to come, why Riz is all the rage for Gen Z. But first, we want to shout out Songum Whale and her friends Charles and Simon in grade 5 at the American International School of Chennai in Chennai, India, a city that has seen some disastrous flooding recently, but we're happy to report that the Whale family is okay. Have a great day, Songum. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. What magazine releases its Person of the Year honor today? Time. What does CPR stand for? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. How old was Brenda Lee when she recorded the number one hit, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree? Thirteen, back in 1958. How many miles of treasure was found on the seafloor off the coast of Florida? 3. From the Wreck of the Maravillas in 1656. In today's Kid News Kicker, tis the season for Words of the Year. Last week, Merriam-Webster gave us authentic. This week, Oxford University Press went slang and declared Riz its pick for 2023. It's a word Gen Zers, who are now between 11 and 26 years old, have embraced and is short for charisma— Wildly popular live streamer Kai Sennett seems to be the source of the word, although he says to him and his friends it means got game. According to CBS News, Riz took off a second time when Spider-Man actor Tom Holland was asked if he had any Riz in a BuzzFeed interview published in June. I have no Riz whatsoever, Holland deadpanned. Thanks again to the Whale family of Chennai, India for underwriting today's quiz. And a big hello to Sangam Whale and her amazing teacher, Ms. Britt Thorpe, at the American International School of Chennai. And shout-outs for our other Kid News classrooms, starting with Ms. Karlovitz and Ms. Ward and their Panthers at Five Points in Springboro, Ohio. Mrs. Bergen and her Bulldogs at Eastside Intermediate in Harrisburg, Illinois. And Mrs. Carr and her Wildcats at Mesa in Cortez, Colorado. Thanks for listening. Please consider making an end-of-year tax-deductible donation to help Kid News get current events into more classrooms, kitchens, and carpools. Every dollar matters. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.